Good morning, San Jose Middle School Scorpions. Today is Wednesday, April 14th, and we are talking some more about the Tour of Novato because as you can see, we are still in the lead, but Sinaloa is coming up fast, and so we have an exciting contest uh, put on by our PTA. The Tour of Novato um, money that we make is super important to our school because it supports our teachers, it helps them buy things for their classrooms, and special things for our school. So we are hoping that you will participate in this contest, and here it is. Every third period class is competing. The prize is Kona Ice gift cards for everyone in the class, including the teacher, and you can win two ways. One is the most uh, money per student, so however much you make divided by the number of students, or the greatest percentage of participants, so you can win either way. So this is gonna start on tomorrow, Thursday, so we're gonna ask for you to sign up. This is how you win. Sign up at Tour of Novato. It costs $15 to sign up. Then through email or phone calls or conversations, ask friends and families to donate to you for the Tour of Nevada. So even little donations like $5, $10, it really adds up. Then if you want to, you can enjoy the Tour of Nevada Discovery Stops that we've been highlighting. And if you get enough of your uh, co-workers to do this, enough people in your class to do this, you can win free Kona Ice. So your teacher will talk to you more about this on Thursday, but we are having, um, the competition is between classes, your third period class. So teachers, we invite you to participate. Uh, students, we invite you to participate. Let's see if we can stay ahead of Sinaloa and win this game. Just a reminder that Wednesdays are early release days. Students, you will be out today at 12.05. There is 20 minutes of asynchronous work for English that you have to do and 20 minutes of asynchronous work for math. So your teacher will tell you what you need or you can check your Google Classrooms, but that is the expectation for you. Uh, calling soon to be eighth graders, seventh graders, we want to remind you that uh, the web program is recruiting. This is the click for the application, or you can check your student bookmarks. We hope to see that in there tomorrow. It is exciting to be a web leader. You don't want to miss it. You can ask questions of Ms. Sawyer or Ms. Craig, and they will let you know if you have been selected. There is a new book club starting. Ms. Brown is running it, of course, so you can contact her in the library or send her an email at mollybrown at nusd.org. The title now is called The Young Elites. Here's a little description of what's in there. It's going to be an interesting book club, and it starts in May, so you need to start reading now. Talk to Ms. Brown, and she can get you hooked up with the book. Uh, a student has turned this into us. It's important for us to learn about the world around us and people that we know. So she wants us to know about Ramadan. And I'll just read this out loud to you because she's written it so nicely. Ramadan is a holy month for Muslims, people who um, celebrate the faith of Islam. It begins on a different date each year because the Islamic calendar follows the moon. Each month begins with a new moon, and Ramadan is the ninth month of that calendar. This year, Ramadan started on Tuesday, April 13th, just yesterday. Um, and during Ramadan, Muslims do not eat or drink from sunrise until sunset. Suhoor is the me meal that they eat before sunrise, and iftar is when they break the fast at sunset. So no eating or drinking during the whole day until the sun sets. Ramadan ends when a new moon is seen. A group of religious leaders watch the sky and if they see a new moon, Ramadan is over. Muslims hold a festival at the end of Ramadan, which is called Eid al-Fitr. The festival lasts three days. Friends and families gather. Common traditions include decorating the home with lights, which is seen in Pakistan and India. When, and eating a meal during the day with your loved ones. 
So this is a holy time for our friends um, who practice the Muslim faith. And so we wanted to make sure that you knew about it. And again, we're concerned about mental health and making sure that we're keeping each other strong and uplifted. So here's a little message. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. So it is Wednesday. You're going to fifth period, sixth period, first and second, and then you have this asynchronous work to do. So students, have a great day. Do your best. Make it a great one.